Lisgar and welcome back to Life at Lisgar. Today is Thursday, November 3rd, 2022, day five of our five day cycle, and also known as Japanese Culture Day. Here is the land acknowledgement and old Canada. The land upon which we work, live, and sustain ourselves is the ancestral and treaty lands of the Michizagig Anishinaabe, also known today as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the rightful caretakers and title holders of this land. We also recognize the rich pre-contact history and relationships which include the Anishinaabe and the Ongwe Hongwe. Since European contact, this land continues to be home to indigenous and non-indigenous peoples. As responsible community members, we value the diversity, dignity and worth of all people. Colonialism displaced and dispossessed indigenous peoples of their ancestral land. And continues to deny their basic human rights, dignities and freedoms. We are committed to learning true history to reconcile, make reparations, and fulfill our treaty obligations to the original peoples and our collective responsibilities to the lands, water, animals, and each other for future generations. Welcome back to Life at Lisgar, and here's the news from the den. Volleyball and flag football players, remember to check your schedules. Uh, I wish uh, good luck to the boys for their tournament today for flag football. Go and show the world what you're made of. Oh, that's sick. Uh, this week, handball, but I think we've done all the intramurals for this week. Knit and Crochet Club is today, room 109 at 11.55, so... Come and knit and crochet. Hey, if you're going, make sure to bring me back a scarf. Yeah, it's getting cold. Interested in joining Lizard's QSA? You can always come by on day four in the workroom between 205 and 206. And remember the art showcase. And that's pretty much all the announcements we have for today. Well, that's like the shortest we've ever done. See you next time. We cherish too the poppy red that grows on fields where Valor led. It seems to signal to the skies that blood of heroes never dies. But lends a luster to the red of the flower that blooms above the dead. In Flanders' field, 